from around the globe, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. I'm Lisa Martin, and I'm pleased to be joined by two guests from HPE longtime partner, Tech Data. We have Colin Blair, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing of IoT and Data Solutions, and David Smith, HPE Pre-Sales Field Solutions Architect. Colin and David, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, Lisa. Glad Thank to be you, here. Thank you, Lisa. Great to see be you guys. Well. So, let's start with, so Colin, HPE and Tech Data have been partners for over 40 years, but tell our audience a little bit about Tech Data before we get into the specifics of what you're doing and some of the cool IOT stuff with HPE. Oh, thanks, Lisa. So Tech Data is a, a Fortune 100 uh, distributor. Uh, we continue to evolve to be a solutions aggregator in these next generation uh, technology businesses. So as you've mentioned, uh, we've been serving the IT distribution markets globally for, uh, for 40 plus years. And uh, we're now moving into uh, next generation technologies like cloud analytics, IoT, and security, global lifecycle management services uh, to be able to uh, position ourselves with our customer base and the, and the needs that their clients have. So I'm excited to be here today to talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing in IoT and, and analytics with David on the HPE side. And in addition to the 40 plus years of partnership, Colin, that you mentioned that Tech Data and HPE have, you've got over 200 plus HPE resources. David, you're one of those guys in the field. Talk to us about some of the things that you're working on with channel partners, David, to enable them, especially during such crazy times that we're living in now. Absolutely, absolutely. So. What we can do is we can provide strong sales and technical enablement. Uh, if your team, for example, wants to better understand how to position the HP portfolio, if they require assistance in architecting a secure, performant IoT solution, uh, we can help ensure that your technical team is fully capable of having that conversation, and it's one that they're able to have with confidence. Uh, we can validate the proposed HP solutions with uh, the customer's technical requirements and proposed use case. We can even assist on a customer calls if it would, would benefit our our partner uh, to kind of extend out to that. We also have a a, uh, a deep technical bench uh, that, that Colin can speak to in the IoT space to lean on as well uh, for so solutions that kind of, of span into the the uh, space beyond where HP typically operates, which would, would be edge com computing and network sec security. Excellent. Colin, tell me a little bit about uh, Tech Data's investments in IoT. When did this start? What are you guys doing today? Sure, we started uh, in the cloud space first uh, to, to tackle this opportunity in data center modernization and hybrid cloud. That was about seven years ago. Uh, shortly thereafter, uh, we started investing very materially in the security, cybersecurity space. And then we followed that with uh, data analytics and then the Internet of Things. Now we've been in those spaces with uh, with our long term partners for some time, but uh, now that uh, we're seeing this movement to the intelligent edge and a real focus on business outcomes and specialization, uh, we've kind of uh, tracked with the market, and we feel like we've invested a little bit ahead of uh, where the channel is in terms of uh, supporting our ecosystem of partners in this space. So the intelligent edge has been growing for quite some time. Colin, in the uh, very unique times that we're living in in 2020, how are you seeing that intelligent edge expand even more? And what are some of the pressing opportunities that tech data and HPE's IoT solutions together can address? So a couple. A couple. So the, the first is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, just data center modernization. And so, in the middle of uh, COVID-19 and, and perhaps post-COVID-19, we're going to see a lot of clients that are going to be focused on monetizing the things that they've got, but doing so to drive business outcomes. We believe that increasingly the predominance of use cases and compute and analytics is going to move to the edge. And uh, HP has got a great portfolio for not just on-premise uh, high-performance computing, 
but also hybrid cloud computing. And then when we get into the edge with, uh, with edge line and networking with Aruba and devices that, uh, that need to be uh, uh, digitized and sensorized, uh, it's a really great uh, partnership. And then what we're able to do also, Lisa, is uh, we've been investing in vertical markets since 2007. And I've been along the ride with that team most all of that way. So we've got deep specialization in healthcare and industrial manufacturing, uh, retail, and then public sector. And then the last thing that we've kind of turned on here recently, uh, just last month, is a strategic partnership in the smarter city space. So we're able to leverage a lot of those vertical market capabilities couple that with our HPE organization and really drive specialized repeatable solutions in these vertical markets where we believe uh, increasingly customers are going to be more interested in uh, repeatable solutions that can drive uh, quick uh, proof of value, proof of concepts with uh, minimal viable uh, kinds of uh, products. And uh, that's, that's kind of the, the, where we're partnering today with our HPE organization and the HPE um, uh, Corporation. So David, let's double click into some of those vertical markets that Colin mentioned. Some of the things that pop into mind are healthcare, manufacturing as we know, supply chains have been very challenged during COVID. Give us an insight into what you're hearing from channel partners now virtually, but what are some of the things that are of pressing importance in 2020? So from a, a pressing importance to Colin's exact point and, and to your exact point as well is really it, it's all about the, the edge com computing space. Now, from a product perspective, uh, as, as Colin had mentioned earlier, HP has their edge line converged systems, which has kind of taken the functionality of OT and edge T, excuse me, of, of OT and IT and combined it into a, a single edge processing compute solution. Uh, you kind of couple that with the ability to configure components such as Tesla GPUs uh, in specific specific edge line offerings to offer and aid uh, in things like real-time video processing and analytics. Uh, and a perfect example of, of, of this is a uh, social distancing in the COVID space. If if I need to be able to analyze a group of people to ensure they're staying as, as far apart as possible or, you know, within social distancing guidelines, uh, that is where uh, kind of the, the real-time edge line compute aspect of, of things can be taken advantage of. Same things with the uh, with, uh, leveraging cameras uh, where you can actually take temperature detection as as well. So it's really kind of best to to think of edge lines solutions as data center computing uh, at the edge. Uh, to, to kind of, of, of transition into the Aruba space, uh, Aruba also has offerings that aid in the IoT security, such as ClearPass Device Insight, which allows for device discovery of uh, network and monitoring of wired and wireless devices. There's also Aruba asset tracking and real-time location uh, of solutions. And that's particularly important in the healthcare space as well. If I have a lot of high value assets, things like wheelchairs, things like, uh, uh, ventilation devices, where are these things lo located within my facilities and how can I keep keep track of them? Uh, they also, and, and by they, I mean HP, they also kind of leverage an expansive ecosystem of partners. Uh, as an example, they they leverage ThingWorks and a lot of their IoT solutions as well. And when you kind of tie that all together with HP Point Next, uh, the end customer is provided with the comprehensive IoT solution. So Colin, how ready are channel partners and the end user customers to rapidly pivot and start either deploying more technologies at the edge to be able to um, deliver some of the capabilities that David talked about in terms of you know, analytics and sensors for social distancing? How ready are the channel partners and customers to be able to understand, adopt, and execute this technology? So I think that on the understanding side, I think the partners are there. You know, we've been talking about digital transformation in the channel for a couple of years now. And I think what's happened through the COVID-19 pandemic is that it's put a real spotlight on the need for uh, those business outcomes to, to solve for very specific problems. Um, and, and that's one of the values that we serve in the channel. So we've got uh, a solution offering that we call our solution factory. And what we do, Lisa, is, is we leverage a process to, to look outside the industry at uh, Gartner Magic Quadrant Solutions, Forrester Wave, uh, G2 Crowd, uh, you know, top leaders, visionaries, and understand you know, what are those solutions 
that, uh, that are in demand uh, in these vertical markets that we talked about. And then we do a lot of work with David and his team internally in the HPE organization to be able to vet and then uh, build out that reference architecture so that we know that there's a solution that drives a bill of materials and a reference architecture that's going to work, that clients are going to need, and then and we can do it quickly. You know, at Tech Data, you know, everything's about uh, being bold, acting now, getting scale, and we've got a, a large uh, ecosystem of partners that already have great relationships. So uh, we pride ourselves in being able to identify what are those solutions that we can take to our partners that they can quickly take to their end users where you know, we've, we've kind of uh, developed out what we think the 70 or 80% of that solution is going to look like. And then we drive point next and other services capabilities to be able to complete that last mile, if you will, on some of the customization. So we're helping them uh, for those who aren't ready uh, we're helping them. For those who already have very specific uh, use cases and, and uh, a practice that they drive with repeatable solutions, uh, we're coming alongside them and understanding what can we do using our practice builder approach, which is uh, our consultative approach to uh, understand where our partners uh, are going in the market, who their clients are, what skill sets do they have, what supplier affinities do they want to drive, what brand marketing or demand generation support do they need? And that's where we kind of take some of these solutions, bring them to bear and engage in that consultative engagement to accelerate uh, being ready as, as you rightly say. So Tech Data has a lot of partners You in, in general. You also have a lot of partners in the IoT space. Colin, what, how do you, from a marketing hat perspective, how do you describe the differentiation that Tech Data and HPE's IoT solutions deliver to the channel, to the end user? A couple of different things I think that's, that's differentiation. And that's one of the things that we strive for in the channel is uh, to be specialized and to be competitively differentiated. And so uh, the first part I say to all of my team, Lisa, is uh, you know, whether it's our solution consultants or our technical consultants or our solutions developers or the uh, software development team that, that works in my organization, our goal is to be specialized in, in, in such a way that we're having relevant uh, value-added conversations with not only our channel partners, but also end users if our partners uh, want to bring us into those conversations, and many do. Uh, the next is really education and, and enablement, as you would expect. And so there's a lot of things that, uh, that, that are specialized, that are technical, where we drive education, certification programs, uh, you know, road shows, seminars. Uh, one of the things that we're seeing a lot of interest now, Lisa, is for uh, digital marketing. And uh, we're driving some really neat offerings around digital marketing platforms that not only educate our partners, but also allow our partners to bring their end users and tour some of, this, some of these technologies. So whether it's at our Clearwater office where you know, we've got an IoT solution center that uh, we, we take our partners and their clients through, or we're using uh, our facilities to, uh, to do executive briefings and uh, ideation as a service and uh, you know, kind of understanding the art of the possible with both uh, our resellers and their clients. Uh, or if we're using our uh, solution, uh, our solution catalog. So we've built an interactive uh, PDF that allows our partners to understand uh, over 50 solutions that we've got, and then be able to identify where would they like to bring in uh, David and his team, and then my consultants to do that uh, that deep planning uh, and and business development uh, de that we talked about a little bit earlier. So the engagement right now is maybe even more important than it has been in a while because it's all hands off and virtual. David, talk to me about some of the engagement and, and, and the enablement piece that Colin talked about. How are you able to really keep a channel partner and their end user customers engaged and interested in what you're able to deliver through this new virtual world? That's a great, great question. And uh, we, we work in conjunction with our, our marketing teams to make sure that as, as new technologies and quite in, in the IoT space or as, as well as uh, within the HPE space as well, that, that our channel partners are uh, educated and, and, and 
aware that these solutions e exist. I, I know for a fact that for the majority of them, you, you kind of get this consistent bombardment of, of new technology, but being able to actually have someone go out and explain it and then being able to, to correspondingly position its use case and its functionality and why it would provide value for your end customer is, uh, is, is one of the, the benefits that tech data adds. Uh, to kind of, of build upon that previous statement, the fact that we have such a huge portfolio of, of partners, so you kind of have HPE and the edge compute space, but we have so many different uh, partners in the IoT space where it's really just a phone call, an email, a Skype message away to have that conversation around interoperability and then pro provide those quick responses back to our partners. Excellent. One more question before we go, Colin, for you. A lot of partners, why HPE for IoT? So a couple of reasons. Uh, one of the one of the biggest reasons is HPE is just a great partner. And so when you look at evaluating IoT solutions that tend to be pretty comprehensive, in many cases, Lisa, it takes 10 or 12 partners to complete a real IoT solution and, and address a use case uh, that you know that's in the field. And so when you have a partner like HPE who's investing in these programs investing in demand generation, investing in the spectrum of technology, whether it's hybrid cloud, data center, uh, compute, storage, uh, or you know, edge devices and IoT gateways, then to be able to contextualize those into what we call market-ready solutions in each one of these vertical markets where there's references and there's use cases and there, you know, we're coupling education that's specific around some of those solutions, um, you know, HP can do all of those things. And, you know, that's very important because in this new world, no one can go it alone anymore. It takes, uh, it takes partnerships and we're all better together. And HPE really does uh, embrace that philosophy and they've been a great partner for us in the IoT space. Excellent. Well, Colin and David, thank you so much for joining me today on theCUBE. Tech Data, HPE, IoT, better together. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank, thank you, Lisa. You. Thank you, Lisa. And for Colin and David, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's virtual coverage of HPE Discover 2020. Thanks for watching.